from the first murder committed in firelit caves to the electronically transmitted distress calls of deep space, we leave the 20th century filled with regrets. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. And when humanity gasps its last, all that will remain, if anything, will be the theater of terror. Leaving a star scat all over my yard, and the damn studio audience can't even be bothered to chase off a space coyote. You'll better not be expecting a song right now. I uh, gotta work before we play. I don't uh, keep this all to yourself. Anyways, don't even know uh, you on your Insta tweets, doing your bl- boxy blue. Beam emitting devices, hey, with your laughter and your high feelings. Something has gone horribly wrong, and not in the way that things normally go wrong here. The penthouse that grew at the top of the hotel cracked open just like it was supposed to. The room was exposed to the vacuum of space right on schedule. But the guest, she's still here. He's still here, somewhere in my hotel. My lobby boy isn't, though. He should be down in the lobby, monitoring his room's progress. But that awful woman somehow brought a knot of snakes, and they squeezed the life out of my poor lobby boy. Well, maybe not life... But they squeezed something Excuse out Excuse me. She's here. She snuck up on me. Not many can do that, and no one in my hotel should ever be- Hey, sorry, I uh, need a room. Like, I had a room, but it started breaking apart, and it got pretty noisy, and all my snakes got sucked into space or something- Do you have a quieter room? Really only need a few hours of ugly sleep before I head out. Yeah, and uh, I need a candle in a quiet place to summon some evil, you know? (laughs) Yeah, you do. You get it. Hundo percent. Of course, I tell them. We would be happy to provide a room free of charge to compensate for her snakes. I decide to keep it simple. Nothing fancy. No waiting for the perfect torture. There's a very old room on the first floor. Just behind the door is a pit filled with acid. I walk them back, apologizing the whole time. I want to make sure they feel safe before we get there. I need her to trust me, just for a moment. 
All it takes is one moment, one mistake, and it's all over. I unlock the door to their room with my skeleton key. Kind of dark, she says. Perfecto mundo, he says. I gesture for them to enter. And as soon as she crosses the threshold, Uh. she drops into the darkness and I hear a final splash. I was expecting to hear her scream, if only for a moment, before the acid ate away. Oh, Nectar, you got a pool? Surf's up! Hey, up there! I fell in some acid! It's not bad, it's crispy, but I kinda like need a bed or... a bed. Um. I'm good with just the acid pool, brah! My sister can be real picky, though. The door's kinda high, though. Can I get a hand? Um. We... We pride ourselves on our guest service at the hotel. I reach down to help pull her out of the acid. Once I get her out, I have just the room for her. A room containing such horrors, such... Sorry! Hey! Are you okay down there? Oh, Palmer, I think she's allergic to acid. Do you need a hand? Hey! Yo! Appreciate an answer. Um, okay. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... This place is pretty dope. Not great for resting, but like, pretty fun. Maybe Gumpa Graveyard would like to stay a few days. Not that he'd ever leave his asteroid. I better call him and let him know I'm gonna be a little late. I think I saw a phone in the lobby. You do that. I'm getting a bit itchy, big sis, you know? I'm gonna go summon something. There's gotta be something here to summon, right? Yeah, it's a hotel. Ah, truth. Nosferella, you rock. Did I tell you that? Because it just did. All right, later, skater. Don't go too far. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh, Nasi. Hey, uh... Where the hell are you? The coyotes come back, uh, huh? Ah, oh, yeah, oh, that's awful. I tell you, swarms of snakes is a great pet, but they, they don't travel well. Huh? Ah! Ha! 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 Ah, yeah, that's acid for you. Huh? Ah. Ah, yeah, okay, whatever. I uh, guess Narcy is running a little behind because uh, some people keep dying. Uh, well, that's how you can tell she's a graveyard. You know, we graveyards have a way of attracting death. Uh, that's how I how I met Nosferella's grandmother, Gumma Graveyard. Would you I uh, like to hear the story of how death brought us together? Well, that's too bad! It's private! (laughs) Instead, I'll uh, uh, sing you the Graveyard Family song. It's old, but then so am I. (laughs) (coughs) (coughs) Uh, 
bum, 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 bum. Graveyard, graveyard. You hear it coming down the train tracks. Graveyard, graveyard. No one's ever turning back. Don't turn back. You don't turn back. Graveyard, graveyard. You hear it stomping down the sidewalk. You hear it stomping down the sidewalk. You better get walking. Walk fast. Graveyard. Fast and slow. Death comes for everyone. I uh, hope you like that uh, song. It means a lot to the graveyards, and we sing it every time we get together in Bob Ferrets. Trick or treaters, it's a little early for that. Oh, it's that damn coyote again. Oh, it's up on its hind legs and trying to get in. This is why you gotta chase them off right away. Uh, begin to take the shape of something uh, resembling a human being, and it's that damn near impossible to get rid of them. Oh, here we go with the affectation of human speech. You go ahead, get it! I'll have your skin for a blanket! Ah, hell, now I gotta deal with this. Hey, you folks, uh, sit tight. Uh, once I make sure this fella's good and dead, we'll play pinochle till Nosferella gets in. Although you look like a yucca crowd. Bloody yucca. Fool's game. I ain't never been bit by a wolf man, and I ain't gone now! Yes. Will Nosferella ever find a room for the night? What is Necrodudicon going to summon? Will Gumpa Graveyard successfully exterminate the Lycian cryptid trying to get in? Or will he resist by all the hairs on his chinny chin chin? Is he going to sing another song? Uh, find out next time on The Theater of Terror to The Hotel of Tomorrow! <laughs> The Theater of Terror 2, The Hotel of Tomorrow, continues in our next episode. The Theater of Terror was created by Travis McMaster and Mark Witten, with special thanks to Andy Hamer. You know what you did. Rate and review us on iTunes. Become a social being by following us on Twitter, Instagram, and the Tumblr. For more horror, listen to all 16 episodes of The Hotel wherever podcasts are available. The Theater of Terror was fortunate in securing the services of Mark Witten, Kelly Nineltowski, and Graham Rowett. Music by Mark Witten. West Rodri and Lauren Picorni. With respect to the old Grey Goose. <laughs>